Yes, Karibu Sana. And actually, Miss Naomi Buri is a film producer and she's an actress as well. And our next guest, his name is Makovo Mbatha. He's an actor, a presenter, and he also directs stage plays for Do Arts Center and Fanaka Arts. And you shall tell us what Do Arts and Fanaka Arts are all about, maybe a bit later on. So Karibu Nisana to Y254. Yes, I'm glad to have you on set. And um, before we actually delve into our interview, there's something that these two wonderful people have been working on, and they would like to get the word out for this upcoming show. And I'd, li I'd like to give them a chance to do that. And before they do that, let me say that it's coming from a particular, um, it's coming from particular directors and producers from the Sound of Man and Do Art Center. It's the upcoming show on Thursday, the 7th. Th Sunday the 7th, excuse me, Sunday the 7th, and it's a play that's going to be at the Kenya National Theatre and it's going to go by the name of Lady in Red. I wonder what it's going to be about, and there are two shows. So let them tell you guys just a bit more about it and how to get the tickets and where and how much. Hello, uh, Lady in Red is an adaptation from the Mariama's book. It is by, by, his book, uh, by a book, Scarlet Soul, for those who are readers. Well, the play is amazing, it's well crafted, and it's going to be at the Kenya National Theatre, specifically Ukumbi Mdogo on Sunday, mm -hmm. this Sunday, Ukumbi on Mdogo. 7th, yes, Ukumbi Mdogo. There are, there are two shows, that is 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Tickets are only going for 600. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you can get them, of course, through our social media platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get them through Makovo Mbada mm -hmm. or... No, we were. <laughs> yes, sure. Uh -huh. Or you can just uh, call through the numbers 0714-884-123. Or 0711750225. Hey, you guys wrapped those numbers. Uh, I think they, if they okay. were trying to write, they're like, guys, <laughs> okay. please repeat the numbers. 0714-884-123. Okay, that's for you. Yes, that's mine. Right. How about Naomi? Or 0711-750-225. Hayabasi. So you guys have heard how to reach out to them. This is going to be a really in... Are you allowed to give us a spoiler? <laughs> <laughs> or, like, or like what it um, a com a compasses around? Kidogo a taste? No? We, we just uh, can't find think? out. Do you um, think? <laughs> I don't think you guys should know. Okay. You should come watch though. Yeah. We should so come watch. Get, yeah, because I mean, um, mm. it's a... Uh, it's it's the it's my comeback to stage plays, uh -huh. uh, and that's what I'm telling people. I haven't done it in four years. I okay. have fully concentrated on film and uh, TV. Yes. But now I'm coming back to stage plays. Okay. So I want people to have that anticipation of True. oh okay what, what is what is going on mm. what, what will she do this time around you know. So, uh, yeah. And maybe later on you can share with us why you've chosen to yes. come back to stage plays. Yes, I'm I sure will. there's a reason. There's a reason. Because yeah. you are a film producer and an actress. Yes. Hi, Abasi. So let's dive right in. You guys have heard how to reach those tickets and how you can buy them. So please do so as quick as possible. They're not expensive. And you've seen how wonderful and interesting they are. So believe me, yeah. their work will be interesting as well. Sure. Mm -hmm. So actually, um, Makovo does voiceovers as well. And so do I. And it's mm, interesting, interesting that we, we both do that. Um, but then maybe we can focus more on the acting for both for both of you for today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So how did you guys get into acting specifically? Because I know getting into acting in Kenya is not exactly easy. Well, where do I begin? <laughs> uh, 2010. 2010. Uh, I met a guy. His name was Dantes. Mm. Uh, introduced me to a guy named Webo. And these two got me to acting. I began uh, by doing stage, of course. That was Jawabu. Uh, Jawabu, then I moved to Milestone Arts where I built my craft. Uh, it has been not an easy journey, but it is a journey that is quite worth because acting, I don't think there's any career you get to really get yourself out there and be free to express yourself mm -hmm. as in the arts and more so acting because I think I have enjoyed performing every other job in this life you know yes. i have been a doctor in my experiences i have been a teacher i mm -hmm. have been psychic i have been poor i have been rich mm -hmm. and it is always a learning experience because it expands your mind mm -hmm. so that is basically how i got to acting and then i diverted kidogo 2013 i wanted to learn more so that is how i got into directing now you you mentioned it yes, yes. i got into directing and then i went into film professionally uh -huh. okay so, so. Mm -hmm. how about naomi how did you get into acting 
Oh, well, as for me, I started when I was very young uh -huh. in the Presbyterian Church. Okay. I used to do stage plays back then. And I, I think I thank God because of that tender age uh, nurturing. I didn't know what exactly it means to, you know, I just enjoyed. Mm. But then again, later on, after I cleared high school, the next day, I went for an audition. And I was like, oh, this is what I, what I want to do for the rest of my life. Mm. And by the time I was getting into campus, I was I was clear cut. I want to be an actor full time. Yes, you know? yes. And it was hard in the African setting, of course, because parents would be like, um, "I'm not gonna waste all that money mm. in paying for a course that you will probably not use." Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But then again, I um I did uh, business in campus. Uh, then I never stopped acting. I started doing my own stage plays. I produced stage plays at the National Theatre wow. back then in 2012, 13, oh and directed gosh. some in church, uh, Deliverance Church, Don Home. Uh -huh. And from there, when I was on stage, I still acted on stage as well as producing uh, a lady called Jackie. She's known as Tina in Mother in Law. Oh, okay. I was attending church, yes. and she was like, that girl is a good actor. I, I, I mean, I'll call her for the mother, mother-in-law auditions. Right. And when the auditions were up, she called me and she was like, she even paid for my transport, I think. Oh. She was like, Are you, your time she was like we're going like, to make this dream happen. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to make this dream happen. And I got into mother-in-law. Um, yeah. The producer then was Catherine Wamoy. I think she's still the producer now, but she moved... Uh, to be the head of production at Inoro. So oh, okay. she told me, you know what? I really like your talent, but you don't mm. have a slot in Mother in Law. I uh. also produce Tahidi High. Would mm. you go buy Tahidi mm. High's uniform and mm -hmm. join the program? Mm. I was like, yeah. just like that? Ah, that. <laughs> How? Like, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Let uh -huh. me, and I remember we were so excited walking in town with my brother. Uh, and he was like, okay, so what I'll do? Me, I'll just buy for you shoes. So you say I invested in you. Oh, yeah. hold on a second. This. Oh, that's, that's, that's a footage of me. This is a film I did. Ah, this is a film you did? Yes. In uh -huh, okay. 2016, released. As it's showing in the background, let us, and producers, could we run this video again a bit later on? Could, I'd like to hear the Tahiti High. Oh, the, ta the Tahiti High bit. Yes. Right. Um, so, wh what exactly is this about? This film? Yeah. It was. Um, it looks intense. Yeah, it was intense. It was. Uh, it's the the Jesus and his disciples story told mm. in Kiswahili Sheng. Where? Yes, yes. What yes. role are you playing? <laughs> I was playing the role of Magda in the film. Okay. It was, a, it was an adaptation from the Bible. <laughs> Who's the man? <laughs> that man is Judas. Uh, Judas the, the Scarlet, betrayer. Yeah. <laughs> this is so interesting. It was a very interesting film. It was, it was interesting to shoot a Bible story in, in Sheng. Is it the first of its kind? I think it's the first of its kind in Kenya. Girl, we have to make this viral. <laughs> That's so interesting. Yes, a Sheng yes, movie yes, yes. from the Bible. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Mm. All righty. Uh -huh. So you jumped into the Tahiti High. Yes. And that's how you got into it then? Yes. yes. Ah, I, I jumped into Tahiti High. And after that, I was introduced to more industry players. Mm -hmm. So I joined programs on Mesha Magic, Sumula Penzi, Urembo. Um, and then I after that, I started doing uh, films. And I found my love in films. And now I started now to wanting, now wanting to produce my own films and yes, my own of content. Course. Yes. Producing your own stuff. Now yes. choosing what is going to be on the screen. Yes, now choosing what I can put out there. I see. Yes. Amakovo. Yes. Um, you people, I think when we were talking offset before, we, I happened to see that you guys share really good chemistry. You get along yeah. really well, it yes, seems like to me. And um, yeah, even when you came through, you made sure that, um, no, no, this, there's a lady who hasn't arrived yet. It's like <laughs> this was not going to happen without Naomi around. Oh, you no. have no idea. So I'd like to know how this relationship, you know, started and how you people became so such good friends. <laughs> Ah, well, I would wish her to help me with that because ladies are very good with dates. We're telling yes. the details. Yes, yes, the details. I know me. Yes. Jump right oh, in friend. into that. 
So I call him Fred, but he goes by <laughs> Makovu Mbada. Yes. Okay, so uh, he's, he's are you the only one who's allowed to call him Fred? It's uh, specific <laughs> people. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I'm not the only one, am yeah. I? No. I no. think okay. there are others who are allowed to call him that. Uh -huh. But we met in, remember when I said I was doing stage plays at Deliverance Church, uh, yes. Don Home? Yes. So we met then. Okay. Because the people then I was working with are the likes of James Webber, who he worked with. Um, then as, as as an actor i mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. yes yeah and i found his talent very like mm -hmm. intense mm. and i have a very keen eye for talent i i choose i choose wisely who to work with uh, so you I, can see talent from far i can see talent from miles away yeah, yeah? yeah. so when i saw his talent i was like um i'd really want to work with it with with this guy one uh once in a while, I'd want to do something together with him. Mm. And uh, our, French our friendship started then, yeah? Mm. And we became tight and close enough. And so when he told me that he's producing this f uh, play and he wants me to be back, and I was just praying to God and telling him, I really want to come back to stage, you know? Mm. So when he, pr when he told me he's producing, I was like, ah, Fred, my long-time friend, mm. I will come. I will come, I will come and be part of this. Oh, I see. That's amazing. That that's interesting. And um, you know, for you mentioned something about parents. Yes. Yeah. But you gave your side of the story and what they thought. And this happens a lot in Kenya. You know. And you know, you go to school, you go to university. Then when you're just about to finish, your interest peaks in the arts, and you're just, oh my gosh, okay, so I want to be an artist or I want to be an actor or something of the sort. And she shared her background when it came to that. How about you, as Makovo? When it came to family and you coming home and saying, Mom, Dad, Nihivi Nahivi, I'm going to be an actor. Well, for me, I think it was different. Okay. Uh, my father used to be a language person. So right. he was so into arts and my mother too. Right. Uh, so when, when I began my acting, when I was so tiny, mm. uh, but professionally in the Orleans at 2010, but when I was a little boy, I used to do the church plays and stuff. Mm -hmm. I remember my first role was Joseph, and my <laughs> mother was oh. part of the audience. <laughs> oh. So that should tell you I had support from the family. Yes, of course. I of did. course. Um, the only thing or reservations there were, it's more so from the extended family, my uncles, my aunts and stuff. Because mm. in our family, there is, there is this... Culture. I don't. I think it cuts across every other African home that mm -hmm. in your place most people are soldiers, so you need to go within that line. <laughs> or oh. if they are peace, you need to go through that line. And mm -hmm. and that was almost what I was enjoying from the extended family. But from my main family, okay. I, I am supported till date. Supported till date. Till date. And in fact, great. most of the people who will be coming for the show, mm -hmm. my family will be there. My cousins are, su are in support of this. This is really great. Yes. I love that. I love that. You know, because sometimes, you know, the art scene is not really appreciated in Kenya. Um, and most of the times it's actually difficult, especially when it comes to, especially artists, guys who are painting and doing art and drawing. There's that lack of understanding that art is a career. Acting is a career. Voiceovers, all that stuff, it is a career. It's not like um, a hobby mm -hmm. or something you do on the side. This is our job. This is something that we do to put food on our table. Yeah. Sure. And I find that amazing. And I think that there are a lot of young people who are really talented, who maybe are sitting on a talent of acting or sitting on a talent of singing. And I hope like towards the end that maybe you can encourage them to come out and do something. Mm -hmm. And before we do that, could you please maybe tell us what Do Art Center is all about because okay in the name I can see it's like do arts like yeah just do it do arts is that what it's about and what do they encompass and what kind of arts are we covering here do Arts center is is my company oh, okay. um, with a guy called Jobis. job has happened to be my director when I was coming up in arts and that's how we we got to just as she said mm -hmm. you pick who to walk around with right so that's how we got to form the company do Arts center and do Arts center is based mainly at KC University Thicker Road. Mm -hmm. We do stage plays. Mm -hmm. We do public shows. Mm -hmm. We we do we we associate mainly with schools. Okay. Yeah. Basically, that's it. That's do at center. Mm -hmm. But what we are looking to do in the near future is to encompass other groups to come in as a center, so that we we give it that emblem center, so it can do any other kind of arts, not just acting or voiceover jobs. Right. So we can encompass on things like acrobats. We can do singing. It becomes a full-fledged kind of an art center. Right. And so would you say that this is your brand? Yes, it is. 
and that you would like maybe for people to be anyone that knows Makovo that they should associate you with Do Art Center. Yes, it is. How about the Son of Man? Son of Man, uh, it's it's uh, the guy I'm producing with okay. this particular show, Lady in Red, on Sunday. The guy is called Marvin Kibicho. That is his company. Right. So we thought about we need to get out because we've been doing shows a lot in church, mm -hmm. and we we always wanted to get to Kenya National Theatre. That's how we thought about it and said, hey, we need to take this out there. So of how course. do we do this? Let's put our minds together, let's produce this. Right. Lady right. in Red. So it's produced by Son of Man and right. Do at Centre. Right. Yeah. I see. And when it comes to Naomi, um, so you're a film director, sorry, a film producer Produce and an them. actor. Um, what would you say for you were the reasons why? Because you mentioned in the beginning that now you'd like to come back for stage plays, yes. to do your stage plays. Yes. Just because you started with the stage plays, yes. even you said in church when you were yeah. young, the Presbyterian church. Yes. And so then you entered something else, but now you're going back. Is there a reason that pulled you back into stage plays? Well, I'm not leaving film and TV. Right. Uh, just let's, let's make that clear. But right, right. I, I think it's important for an actor to understand that theater makes you understand your emotions more than TV does, yeah? True. Uh, because oh, it's, wait, wait. it's in terms... Explain that. I, I'm not an actor. I didn't uh, know that. I didn't know theatre does true. it more than film. Yeah, because... How so? Theatre is very intense, you right. know. You mm. could have a million emotions in one specific scene, mm. which is like super crazy which helps you to be an excellent actor on tv if you know how to distinguish uh, both so for theater you accentuate your feelings and for tv now you it's minimal you don't use your hands a lot uh, you use your facial expressions so it's just basically your eyes and everything but theater you can say you know yeah. and on tv you can't say that i'm angry no 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 you can't ah. just I'm angry, I'm angry at you, I'm really... Oh, it's all in the face. Pleased, you know, it's all in your face, you mm, know? Right. So, but for you to do that, I think theatre helps, in my opinion, helps a lot to help the, the emotions come out more. Mm. Yeah. So I think I'd do better as a theatre <laughs> actor yeah. because for me, I express with everything. If ah. I'm happy, I express with my hands, with my neck, with my legs. There's nothing that I don't express with. Mm. So maybe I'd be more of a theatre than a film person. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Um, but I'd like to ask, are you interested in, you know, I think that people are interested in learning. Yes. When it comes to this field. True. People who are interested in learning theater, learning how to act, learning even just how to do voiceovers, True. Control, control their voice in voiceovers. Yes. Are you interested at all in um, teaching people when it comes to that particular area? Oh, yes, I am. In fact, just the other day we were in uh, school in Muranga with a friend of mine from Tahiti High, and we were doing, uh, he does, he shoots films for festivals. Now, in schools now they have uh, film festivals. Uh, they used to have drama festivals. Now they have adapted film festivals. Film festivals. So uh -huh, I was uh -huh. teaching and training the girls how to do drama. And not to forget that in church I was training as well. So I'm open to training. Though I took a break of training because I also needed to learn. Yeah. So I attended a lot of workshops um, and I would recommend the same, a lot of workshops. For example, I, I attended um, a workshop by a, with, by a guy called Morocco. He, he just came to Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, he, his name is Morocco. His name is Morocco. He's, he actually played Tariq in uh, Empire. Yes. Oh, yeah. that was him. That yes, was, that was him. him. Yes. Oh, interesting. Yes, Morocco, Morocco. I think he calls he calls himself Morocco. That's very weird. Uh, yeah. That, okay. <laughs> that's okay. Is weird. it his real name? I think. Yes, it I is. I think it is. His, yes, it is. His real name. It is. Yeah. Mm, parents can be creative. They can. We'll, we'll come back to the Morocco story because our producers have put up a video right here. Oh. And I'd like for you to give us some details on what's going on because it looks um like he's scolding a child. Yeah, yeah, I was scolding my child in that particular. <laughs> uh huh. So in this particular video, uh -huh. uh, we were speaking against corruption. Uh, the child was wrong on a matter, right? And I was I was scolding him, mm -hmm. but he remembers that he saw his dad in 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 trouble also mm -hmm. and bribing a police officer on his way out. To get a, to get a way out. To get to, yes, to get a way out for convenience sake. Right. And the and the guy went ahead and gave me some money. Your own kid. My own kid gives yeah. me money. <laughs> to, so it's very interesting. 
to know? bribe himself out of to bribe himself out of the, the situation, situation that he's in yes and so what you were doing was to try and get a word out on how corruption works and yes. that it's passed down yes how it's passed down from generation to generation because you see kids observe at a very tender age they learn that is pretty true. fast kids start yeah. observing at the age of three yes you should be careful at the age yeah. of three yeah Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good. Yes. That was wonderful. Is it like a PSA? Or uh, it is was, it a short film? It was just a small thing we did with uh, Jesse. Jesse Chalo is a director, is a film director. So he told me, I, I've seen your talent. Uh, let's come together, do something. Uh, we, we, we harnessed our resources together mm -hmm. with a guy called Victor Mbogo, cinematographer. And then we did a short video just to put it out there and to show our work. Interesting. Yeah, and our, our, our brain children, if, right. we, if you'd say. Right, your brain children. Children, because I can't say brain child. We did yeah. like a lot of, a lot of them, so it's not a brain child, Just it's your brain it's children. A name, it's a word. It's yes. a word. Yes, yeah, you've coined it. <laughs> yeah. It's mine, it's yeah. a word. Coined. <laughs> I've got a trademark. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Makova, back to you. Um, I think they're going to try and pull up some social media pages of yours, but in the meantime, aside from acting, is there an area um, that you feel you're pulled into? When we were um, offset, we were talking a lot about voiceovers. And when I was telling somebody else that I do voiceovers, as well, they asked me, why? Like, so you go and you talk, <laughs> and then it gets recorded, and then it runs. Like, why would you do? As in, to somebody, it didn't, it that, like, yeah, they, it they understand dream. acting and stuff, but uh, yeah. they don't get voiceovers just like what is that <laughs> how would you like to explain the importance of it and I think they work as well they do work yeah they do work a uh, voiceovers uh, I think it's a journal of art that's quite used in uh, passing across awareness or advertising things yes so it, it's not something that people should look at until you go to work voiceovers <laughs> and stuff because the time there's a time I did a voiceover for Panafric yeah and then a guy was listening to it and then he was like I nasikia ngapi hizo vitu kwa mat nikienda hizo watu wanaisema ngapi vitu kwa 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 radio nyuma mm. I'm thinking really that's how you pick a job and that, that's someone's career mm. so voiceovers really really work they are quite influential and where we are going where or rather where we are headed to we will get to animation and stuff like that yes. so voiceovers mm. will have to be the yes. in thing and animations so are already a big thing right yes. now and that in fact, that's the best way of that's explaining a voiceover. Way. That's the best way. Yeah. Animation, animation. Yeah. And that's where our media is going in terms of advertising. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a career. That's a great way of explaining. And it is a career. It is yes, a career. It, it is, is a, a career. career. You can live on, on voiceovers. And um, I was thinking, someone actually openly told me, Ati, guy, I felt like, I felt like, I felt so belittled. I was like, guy, oh. man. As in, Kwani, it's so... <laughs> out of this world but anyway you know leave people to if they don't understand something They're they fear it there was, there was a time yeah, i was in studio for a united's voiceover and then we had spent a whole three hours doing the same thing and then the guys just seated up one angle yeah, honestly manafanya <laughs> what are you doing because you're listening and you're saying no that i don't like this word yeah. i need it to sound this way because yeah. this is what it needs to sell mm. and someone does not get it yeah they does don't not understand. get it why are you repeating i feel it's okay but you feel you feel it is not selling what you wanted it's to not sell. evoking the right emotion exactly mm. and people are astonished really why would you want to stay record a 24 seconds thing for all three hours yes it makes no you know sense. it makes no sense to them but to me or to any other voiceover artist out there like you of course it does make a lot of sense mm -hmm. yes of course and you know in winding up there are a lot of young people i think who are looking for things to do and like i said they're sitting on talents even just voiceover talents or any maybe singing maybe even acting or they'd like to act how would you encourage them to come out because this is tuesday entrepreneurship and so entrepreneurs are people who are not necessarily sitting at a desk from nine to five. Mm. And right now in Kenya is a problem with that nine to five. And so as much as people are going to school to get that nine to five, they might not get that nine to That's five. That's true. true. So they That's might true. have to look at other things to get some money and to live. And how would you encourage them to do that? Let's start with you, Makovo. Um, I always say, I mean, if you have something that is pressing in you and you feel you need to get it out there and show it to the world, mm -hmm. then do so. We, we always have these fears speaking in us, you know, and, and somehow 
they tend to always want to win if we don't speak to them and tell them to shut up. Mm. So if you have that something that is pressing in you and you feel this is what I'm cut for, this is what I'm tailored for, don't wait. Mm -hmm. Begin whatever 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 um, opportunities you have or whatever finances you bear that you're looking at and you say, ah, si wezi anza kama si japata 100,000, you don't need that 100,000. Mm -hmm. If you can get, if you're an actor or you're a singer, you just need to get it on, on YouTube. We have enough social media platforms. Someone will spot it. Yeah. Someone will spot it. Let me give you my story. Uh, I will not mention the place, but how I became a TV presenter. I was directing a play, a Swahili play. And it was back in Jericho Social. And then someone came from the gym. He was just dressed in sweatpants, a very huge guy. And he was listening to me just do my style. I usually read the book, then we, un we get to analyze the book before I begin to direct it. So I was there, it was a Swahili book. The guy stood and listened and listened mm -hmm. and he, saw, he told me, would you mind if you could do anything just for me, two minutes, mm -hmm. something to do with agriculture? Mm -hmm. And I asked myself, would, what would I lose? Because already you, you, can o you can only lose what you have. So I don't have this. Let me just do it. The more excuse, I go on with my work. Yeah. That's what I did. Guess what? After two days, I got my job. Wow. So whatever you are cut for, do it with excellence. You yeah. don't know who is watching. You don't know who is watching. Do what you're cut for with excellence. Yes. That's wonderful. What are your social media handles in case they're touched by what you said? Uh, Makovo Mbada. Makovo, M-A-K-O-V-O, Mbada. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, basically, that's it. Hi. Miss Naomi. Yeah. Any word? Yeah. Um, time and chance happens to everyone. Yeah. And so it's up to you to grab it. Nobody will come to where you are and tell you, uh, what do you do? Are you g good at this or this or this or this or this? Mm. No, I, I think you need to put yourself out there. Uh, just start where you are. Yeah. Do it. Just yeah. do it. If you're in church, do it. If you're in school, do it. If you're um, at your workplace, once in a while, ask for the fun day and say, I have this talent. Can I do something for you guys? Mm. You know, just do it. Also, another thing, social media is a business tool. It's not really a leisure, luxury thing. You could do that. You, I mean, you have, you have a choice. But to me, I think it's one of the greatest business tools that we have. It is. And uh, mm. why I tell people this is because one time I was, I was, I was chosen for uh, an, ad, ad, an advert for uh, M-Visa. Yeah? It runs uh -huh. on Family Bank if you, if you bank with Family Bank. Uh -huh. And this guy specifically chose me from Singapore. Wow. So when they were flying in, they said there's a Wait, specific... Wait, he was in Singapore. He was in Singapore. Okay. You're here. I'm here. Okay. Yeah? And they were specific. They were like... I saw this actor whose name is Naomi Mboro and, and, the, and like her work is out there and I want to work with her, you know? Because even when names were being presented, they were like, no, just give us social media handles, nee, 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 nee. But when they go to your social media and all they find is weird things, That's I don't true. think you'll get a job, you know? I'm so happy you said that. Yeah. If they go to your social media and all they find are photos of you at the club or, or holding cigarettes, or holding drinks, or, doing or all or this thing. dressing inappropriately, exactly. no one is going to work exactly. with you. Know exactly. that. Just mm. know that. So how you present yourself as a business person is very, very important. So because, because um, if, say, that time he checked out my social media and found the only thing I have is photos of me slaying and doing nothing, then he'd be like, I don't see any art in this, yeah. you know? And sure. I take my social media quite seriously. So you, you'll not find my family there. You won't find my personal life there. You'll exactly. just find anything, film, uh, things that I'm working work on. Work-related. Yes, work-related stuff. So use your tools wisely. Asante for that. That is so important. And how yeah. can they reach you on social media, lastly? Oh, yeah. Uh, my handles are Naomi Mboro on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or, or even YouTube. Uh, Naomi Mboro, Mboro with a H at the end. Naomi spelled just normal N A O M I. Ah, yeah. Yes. So, you guys have heard from Naomi and Makovo, and thank you so much for coming, by the way. I've appreciated and enjoyed our discussion. Thank Please you. remember that if, if you want to reach out and say anything, whether to me or to the channel or to these wonderful people, the hashtag is Why in the Morning and the hashtag is Tuesday Entrepreneurship. My name is Joy Muchache. Please do not go away. Barry Moses is coming with the last interview for Why in the Morning. Do stay tuned in. Thank you.